Another day, dollar, holly if you hear me. Coming with the bumps in my hoop as I swoop, whoop. Here I am, the Mac is clear, I am KD, so baby, get with the program. Whoa. Another day, dollar, holla if you hear me. Coming with the bumps in my hoop as I swoop, whoop. Here I am, the Mac is clear, I am KD, so baby, get with the program. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, so, let, like, like when you first, like, you came out with the solo pro project, right? Yeah. In Kona's, and, and what what inspired you to do, do the, the solo? Well, when Q separated from NWA, at that time, I was working, I was working a job. I was working a, a night job at City National Bank Computer Center. And um, Q separated from, from Lynch Mob, and he had went to, uh, he was in Arizona going to school <coughs> for drafting. But then when he came back, he came and got me and was like, hey, I want you to, I want you to come work for my label. You know, he's like, get that job, man, come work for, come work for me, man. I'm, your, I'm, your, I'm like, all right, well, for sure. So I come to go work for Street Knowledge Production, A&R, I have my own office, my own desk. So I'm in there, uh, and then also one of my other tasks was, was, was clearing samples, you know, back when yeah, yeah. Clearing, so I, was, I was, you know, clearing samples. So I'm clearing samples for you, for, for Yo-Yo, for the Lynch Mob, for Cam. And I'm just seeing all my peers, you know, like doing their thing. And I'm like, damn, I'm like, and I just, before all this, me and Q, stereo crew, CIA, yeah. with the wrecking crew, yeah. doing shows. And now I'm at the desk and I see all my, so one day Q coming to the office, and I pull him to the side. I'm like, Q, let me holler at you. He's like, what's up, come to my office. Like, come in his office. I'm like, uh, like, what's up, man? When, What's up with me, man? He, he was like, oh, you want to you wanna do an album? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> like we started off together, That's bro. Right. He like, oh, so let's say less. Easy, yeah. And from that point on, bro, his mind, it was KD. It was he KD. Went, it was, and you it, could tell. Shit, what, what, what's up, team? What, what you want to do? Bro, how that first verse is another day. What you say on that? Another day, dollar, holly if you hear me. Coming with the bumps in my hoop as I swoop, whoop. Here I am, the Mac is clear, I am KD, so baby, get with the program. Whoa. Another day, dollar, holla if you hear me. Coming with the bumps in my hoop as I swoop, whoop. Here I am, the Mac is clear, I am KD, so baby, get with the program. What were you thinking when you wrote that, man? About, what I, like, what I do? I mean, because back then, I would I would get up I would get up, put my put my gear on get fresh. Get fresh. And I always had a nice car. I mean it wasn't no no Benz or nothing like no expensive car, but my cars all my cars I had were nice brims, tinted windows, sounds. So I would love to get my roll on. So I'm like man, I, I really ain't got nowhere to go. I'm just gonna go hit some corners. Wow. That was my thing. I would just get out. I would just roll. Let my sunroof back. Put my sounds on, and I just. Here come see what I see. I see a girl. I'm, finna, I'm gonna try to knock her. I mean I was just <laughs> that was it. That was that was that, that was that was the place. So. That's pretty much where it came from. So when I got the beat, the beat was so smooth no, and laid back. I was like, do, 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 man. Do, do. No, no, so I remember, who, made, who made that beat? Um, uh, this dude named Shaquille. Yeah, his name was Shaquille. It was, it was Pat Charbonnet's nephew's friend. I don't know if Pat Charbonnet was yeah. Cube's manager. Yeah. It was her nephew's friend. It was his friend. And he, so, cause he came up to the office and started working up there. And he was like, yo, I got this dude who do beats. He like, um, you looking for beats? I'm like, man, send me something. And he said, and thank God he did because that's like one of my best songs <laughs> to this day. It's definitely one of your best songs. So what did Cube say when you heard the beat? In the, when oh, he, he loved it. it. When he, he heard, heard it. it. Yeah, he like, he's like, oh man, it's the, yeah. He's, it was man. something to ride to. It was different, bro. Yeah. You got to think so, it, it was different in that time period. No, think see, about was, it, the music that was coming out then, it was nothing like that. But that was my whole, my whole point. I, when I first, when I first started, not first started rapping, but when I first started to start rap, writing, writing for myself, because in the beginning, Q wrote me and Sir Jinx's parts. Okay. In the and then when we were in Stereo Crew and CIA. But when I started pinning my own stuff, I tried to, I tried to do the gangster stuff at first. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But I ain't, that ain't, I ain't, that ain't, that ain't me. And I knew that after a while, like the real fans or the real gangster dudes would be able to see through that. Wow. So I'm like, I can't, I can't do that. And everybody that was in our clique that was around me was gangster, you know, Dub C, Mac Ten, Ice Cube, off yeah. in the eye. Everybody, yeah. everybody was gangster except for Cam yeah. and Yo Yo. 
So I wanted to try to fit in with that because I saw that's what we were selling. I knew that wasn't me. So I had to like resort to how I was. And I know I talk fast, but yeah. I'm a I'm laid a pretty back I'm a laid back dude. You know, I'm a laid back dude. I, 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 I love I love women. But the way you rapped it was a laid back feel. Talking yeah. fast wasn't the, you was just chilling. Yeah. Whoever thought it would happen, got them hands clapping, laid back rapping, nigga was hatin. Well, and I, and also too in the beginning, part of it was Ice Cube's idea too because in the beginning, he said he like, "Hey, this is what we gonna do? We gonna we gonna have you rap over a lot of laid back old school R and B loops." Wow. So my first couple of singles that I did that I, that I recorded was uh. Teddy Pendergrass, I think Turn Up The Lights, if I'm not mistaken. We, yeah. we looped that. I think it was Turn Up The Lights. We, uh, we, we looped uh, Boosie Collins. I'd rather be with you. Ooh. I, I, I did a song off that one. I think it was another one I can't remember. And, and, they, and they both, they all came out fire. But after a while, we switched it up. We was like, okay, no, nah, we're not going to do the, I don't know if it was because of the, the, the samples costing or whatever. Yeah. But he was like, we're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna play some we gonna play some real funky smooth shit, and that's part of that's where, where, part where payback, payback come, in. come in. But also, hold on now. Also, Boosie Collins. Boosie Collins. Uh oh yeah, Bob. Everything good is nasty. No one buys for free. Boosie Collins. Payback Can, told us when he when he came to the studio, bro, and, and I can't remember exactly how it came about. But I, I do remember Cube asking me, Katie, who, who, who would you like on your album? Because like, like if you know, you notice on my album, I really, I don't even, Cube ain't even rapping on my album with me. Nuh-uh. And I think back on it, I'm like, damn, I didn't even get Cube on my album. Like, damn, that was, that was stupid. But I was, I was in my player zone so much that I was like, I, th I thought about, I thought about Boosie Collins. Boosie Collins. And, he, and he made it happen. Uh, Bootsel and Katie, ain't no ride free here, but. Cause wow. I was growing up as a kid, I love Boosie. Hey, we want Boosie. Um, uh, LA. Yeah. A Cali man, I love, love Boosie. Boosie so Cali. when he asked me, oh man, Boosie, I was, you know. Easy. Now, Morris Day was Cube's idea. Wow. And he pulled some strings and got him. Now, mind you, we the studio in the office, Street Knowledge Production, and the studio, the studio was downstairs from Street Knowledge Productions. We're in the hood. We over like where the 60s at, is at. Like Crenshaw, yeah, yeah. Florence. Yeah. We over there. Bro, we had Boosie Collins and Morris Day up in there. Man, that's hard. In the hood. That's hard. What year was that? That had been 93. 93. My album came out in 94. So it was like, Ooh. it was like 90, the end of 93, 93 94. Crazy. No, matter of fact, 94. Because it was the beginning of 94. Beginning. And it was crazy back then, yeah. too. I had you in a hell of a, you was in a hell of a situation, boy. God, dog. Because 94, you got to think about it, man. You got, you got Me Against the World came out a little bit. And it was somewhere around there. there. Yeah, you It's just me against the world. It was a little bit after, after it, I come It was a little bit after yours, but then you got like that, that big mic. Now as I flip through this world of mine, everything is looking peaceful. I'm checking out these people. Mm -hmm. Big mic, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 some serious. I think, what's the name? came out a little bit. Uh, Biggie Smalls first one, the uh, bit Notorious B.I.G. I'm, I'm in the South, tomorrow. so I'm telling you, I'm putting oh, you in this right, collective, right, right, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. You had it hard, man. You know, P and all of This stuff was serious, bro. That's what people yes, don't understand. <laughs> like, but yes, I sir. still, I had to have my KD, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's hard, really, when you think about it. Yeah. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? Because no it, it was different. It wasn't, it wasn't really in a competing thing because yours was different than everybody else's. Yeah, but hard, no though. Pimping is easy on your knees, G. And please make me greasy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like I said, again, thank you, bro. Nah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.